flying time from New York to Karachi is approximately 40 hours. It had taken me a little longer because of a plane connection missed in New Delhi. I'd made the trip at the request of a very good friend, El Radman. He was the high priest of a religious cult several hundred years old. He'd given me a letter of introduction to his brother, Shalma, and had told me I would find him at the Shrine of Madeira here in Karachi. I had a job to do, and I couldn't afford to make mistakes. May I help you? Yes. My name's Michael Lanyard. I've come to see the priest, Shalma. He's expecting me. Did you say Michael Lanyard? That's right. You will wait here. I will be right back. Right. Mr. Lanyard. Take him below. Michael Lanyard? Who are you? Shalma, speak with more respect. I don't like your welcoming committee. If you are Michael Lanyard, we will owe you an apology. I'm Lanyard, all right. Your brother, El Radman, asked me to come here. Here's a letter from him. It explains everything. My brother has written me. I have been expecting Michael Lanyard. I am also quite aware that by now his enemies know that he has sought Lanyard's aid. Very clever. You are indeed very clever. I would like you to meet Michael Lanyard. Aren't you a little mixed up? I'm Lanyard. According to this man, he is Michael Lanyard. Of course I'm Michael Lanyard. This man's an imposter. You have my credentials. He arrived two hours before you did. And he has credentials also. Why don't you telephone your brother? One of you is the real Michael Lanyard, sent by my brother. The other is an imposter sent by his enemies. I intend to find out for myself which one of you is the imposter. I will give neither of you a chance to resort to any trickery. I myself will make this decision. You won't get away with it. This isn't the first time I've had phonies try to take my name. I can prove who I am in five minutes. Stay where you are. Someone posing as me had done a very thorough job. He not only duplicated my medallion, but he presented a fake letter of introduction from El Rodman, a forgery good enough to fool Shalma. He had worked fast, because this had started only four days ago in New York.
tell Rodman had cabled me he was coming to New York. It was urgent I meet him. And he added I was to tell no one of his arrival. I wondered about the secrecy, but I realized he must have had his own reasons. My name's Lanyard. Michael, come in. Michael, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you. Oh, I appreciate your promptness. I need your help. I'll make no bones about it. Tell me what it's about. Oh, how rude of me. Please sit down. Thanks. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, no, nothing, thanks. I think we're all enough friends not to waste time on formalities. Thank you, Michael. I am upset. I'll not hide it. You remember my son, Eli? Yeah. He celebrated his 16th birthday last Friday. Because of my failing health a month ago, I went to our consul and asked them to ordain Eli immediately. This was an unusual request. The normal procedure would have been to wait until my death. What happened? The council deliberated only a short while. Their decision was to proclaim Eli high priest within the next 30 days. As you know, Michael, Eli is my only son. If he were to die, I would have no heir. And once I have announced my retirement, I'd be powerless to name a successor. Well, I haven't seen Eli in many years. But as I remember, he was always a very healthy boy. A bullet or a knife can end the healthiest life. Four days after the council's decision, an attempt was made on my son's life. What? Do you know why? Unfortunately, there's a faction in our cult which is trying to gain power, control our people for their own selfish ends. Who heads this faction? That I do not know. But Michael realized what power in the hands of the wrong people could do. We have shrines all over the world, own lands with great oil resources. I've always used this money to build hospitals, schools, and help the needy. My son would do no differently. What would you expect from the other faction? Perhaps the money would find its way into their own pockets. Or worse, be used to preach intolerance, bigotry and race hatred. How can I help? My son is on his way to Karachi, where he'll find safety with my brother Shalmar. I've written you a letter of introduction. Please go there. It's my desire to find the leader of this rebel group. Not only to save my son's life, but to prevent a catastrophe which could divide and pit our people against each other. I'll do everything I can. Michael, I do not want to lose my son. But if it cannot be prevented, find the leader of this violence. Find the man who would hire a professional killer. I'll do my best. Now I knew the phony. He was the killer L. Rodman had told me about. Now it didn't look as though I was going to help Eli or find the person who hired my impersonator. Guards work for your master. We will slip you out of here as soon as possible. I wasn't sure Singh could be trusted. Was I clear about which master he meant? All I knew was that the first step was to get out of this hole. Nearly an hour had passed and I was beginning to think that Singh had failed me. the door open. I was going to make the first step. I was getting out. I didn't know where I was going, but I knew this wasn't the time to ask questions. Then I got a surprise. I saw a girl. 
But she didn't seem surprised at seeing me. We drove all night. The next morning we arrived at her house. The girl had spoken only a few words to me. I learned her name was Lynn, nothing more. I wondered who she really was. What was her connection with this whole deal? But I figured it was only a matter of waiting before I'd find out. are to wait here until we're contacted. I'll wait an hour. You will wait until we tell you it is time to move on. Who is we? I don't blame you for asking questions. You've never seen me before, but I can assure you there's no need for you to worry. I don't like working in the dark. We took you out of prison, didn't we? I think that should prove to you that we're both on the same side. Really, Roger, you don't have to pretend with me. How did you find out my name was Roger? I was away when they hired you. That's why we never met before. Huh. That explains everything. I'm in on the whole scheme, so relax. I wish the boss would get here. Oh, we'll hear from him. Don't worry. When was the last time you saw him? The day after he hired you to impersonate Lanyard. He was a little angry that Lanyard got there first. Think how I felt. It will be all right. The plan will still work. We have the jump on them. I hope so. But don't worry. You'll get a chance to earn your money. We uh, mustn't underrate Lanyard. He will be taken care of tonight. What do you mean? You know. Tonight? The usual way. Of course. In the river. Is there another way? And that will be the end of Mr. Lanyard. Good riddance. That will leave you clean to continue your work. In the river. Is there another way? I like a bright girl. I'm to assist you. Good. Let's get started. I was afraid you would resent having a woman work with you. Whatever gave you that idea? You're a man. Most men feel that a woman's place is in the home. The question is, whose home? I'm an orphan myself. I see we have a lot in common. Well, for the moment, let us limit it to our job. I have a one-track mind. Let's get out of business. It is about time. The high priest's son... Eli Rodden? He's in a village not far from here. If you intend to kill him before he reaches his uncle, we are going to have to have a complete understanding. I see you've been reading my mail. Now, I will point him out to you, and that is as far as I go. The rest is up to you. Perhaps. You were hired on that basis. True. Then you agree. I never welsh on a contract. Hello? Yes, he's here. Good, we're ready. I know the place, yes. It will be successful, don't worry. Goodbye. The plans have changed only slightly. Uh -huh. They kidnap Lanyard and they're bringing him here. Instead of the river. Oh, it is much smarter not to kill him. In a way, I agree with you. No, you don't understand. Once Eli is killed, we'll place the blame on Lanyard. We are to plant his footprints and medallion near the murder. Not bad? I like it. You will have to wear his shoes. I might pinch a little. The boss is paying you well for it. Huh? He is anxious to see you again. Again? You were late getting to the Shrine of Modere. I guess he wants to make sure you will not be late again. How long have you been working for, uh, the boss? Roger, I don't even know your last name. 
and I don't want to know it. The less I know about you, the better. It should work both ways, for your protection as well as mine. I suppose so. It's the nature of our business. You catch on quickly. I have a good background. Oh, that must be them now. Is it the boss? No, it's the guards, and they're bringing Lambert with them. Everything is in order. Good. Bring me Roger. He was just... He was here a minute ago. Just a minute ago. Lynn and Singh had made a mistake. It was up to me to take advantage of it. I would have liked to have met the boss, but that would have to wait. Or I had to get to El Rodman's son before they did. You fools, you let Lanyard get away. Get the car, we've got to stop him. How could you make such a mistake? It wasn't my fault, it was Singh's. You didn't tell him where Eli Rodman was hiding? No. Good, get the car. We can't afford to take any chances. We've got to get to the hotel in the village before Lanyard. Lynn said Eli was in a nearby village. I remembered passing through one this morning. I headed for it. It was a long shot, but I had no other choice. I recognized Lynn's car and another one. That meant I was in the right village. It also meant they had all arrived ahead of me. I began to wonder if I was too late to help Eli. My hopes were pinned on finding a friendly disciple of L. Rodman's cult, someone who might be able to lead me to his son. order how can I help you is there some place we can talk my name's Lanyard I was sent here to see Eli Rodman I'm a race friend of his father L Rodman do you have any identification no they were taken from me look take me to a phone I'll call L Rodman in New York you can speak to him yourself follow me I was warned about you. If you're a friend of Eli Rodman... I am a friend of Eli Rodman's. And I am willing to protect him from imposters like you. Then give me a chance to. You had your chance, Roger. Good work, Macar. Your impersonation of Lanyard is over. This man's been hired to kill Eli Rodman. Don't tell him where he's hiding. The act is over, Roger. Why beat your head against a stone wall? Even if you think he's telling the truth. Call out Rodman to make sure, or you might regret it for the rest of your life. He has the proper credentials. They're phony. Don't pay any attention to him. He's afraid to have you call. He's stalling for time, that's all. Look, I'm not asking you to believe me. All I'm asking is to call out Rodman and make certain. You're wasting time, Roger. Sit down. Well, I don't want to hear one more word out of you. When will Eli be here? He is on his way. My son is bringing him here. Stop him. Don't let him come here. You're asking for it. Well, I was told to tell no one of Eli's presence, and unless it was Mr. Lanyard. I'm Michael Lanyard, so stop worrying. Good work, Bacar. I see that you've trapped the imposter. These people are trying to take over your order, and you're helping them. I'll do all the talking here. Bacar, where is your son? He's gone to fetch Eli Rodman. This man must be kept here until we are safely out of the village. For Eli's safety. Do you understand? 
Yes. Where are you going? To the street. To let them know it is safe to bring Eli here. Lanyard and I will go with you. Eli is in danger. The sooner we get him to the safety of New Delhi, the better. Who knows how many traitors are helping him? Come with me. Wait here. You see, Michael, it doesn't pay to be too clever. How would you ever know? You are the loser. I am not. I would not like to change places with you now. I bet he wishes he was not Michael Lanyard now. And I heard some gunshots. I knew I had to move fast. Nothing more to worry about. That I had been sent by his father, L. Rodman. Eli was frightened, and it was evident he didn't believe me. I realized with everyone taking pot shots at him, he didn't want to trust anyone. And I told him I was Michael Lanyard. He looked up at me and suddenly smiled. I told him that we were going back to Karachi. Michael, how can I ever repay you? There is one thing. Name it. If it's within my power, it shall be granted. My medallion. Oh, of course. It was stupid of me. After all, I like to think there's only one like it in the whole world. 